All right, so we are doing our November 2024 reading. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. All right, let's work with the crystal ball here. All right, I'm hearing Shining Time Station. That's an old show that I used to watch when I was really, really young. So you might find that old things are coming back up. So you might be dealing with Christmas decorations, stuff like that. It could be as simple as just something from the past coming back in and it's showing up to make you happier. So it feels like there might be some frustration coming through in this month. It feels more like mid month to the end of the month. Not sure what's going on, but there's some annoyance on your end and it just feels like this is stemming from sadness or anger. All right, what cards do we need to know? A little bit of heaviness coming through, so we will have a full moon at some point. And when that full moon comes through, you might find that you need to ask for signs, ask for support, things like that. So there's definitely something coming in that's weighing you down a little bit. Um, and it's just this old, old, old energy that's just, again, just frustrating you. So something to release during the full moon for sure. Um, and if you do that, what you'll find is that that negative energy just starts to, I want to say, dissipate. I don't know if that's a word or not, but I think what's happening is it's going to naturally go away. It's not something to force though, not something to control. Very direct. All right. And then we're having another full moon card coming through here. So this is talking about eating more light, like more vegetarian, less meat, things like that. Just cleaning up the diet will also improve with mood. I just feel like we can't get away from the emotions. It just feels like there's some type of heaviness that's weighing you down. Um, and you need something to broaden your horizons or um, brighten your energy. I feel like this is related to sunsets. It might be paying attention to the sky, working more with um, sun rays. So getting outside, getting out for light walks, maybe going for a light jog might help as well. Turkey, all right, and so I think maybe there's some things that are just tying you up or tying you down. It's a feeling of emotionally being a little bit trapped, and so it's not that you're suffocating, there's still room to breathe, there's still lots of room to grow as well, but it's just this, this feeling where it's just like you have so much skill, you have so much talent, but for some reason it's not getting used or you're feeling like maybe there's something going on where you're not using your potential or somebody's making you feel like you're not using your potential, something along the lines of that. Um, so everything's just coming back to full moon. It's just saying to release under the full moon, release these emotions, go to healers. It's a great time to get a reading as well. Um, it could be that November is kind of a strange month as well. It means Christmas is coming in. It's a time where people might start saving money um, thinking about spending money, that sort of thing, which can stress a lot of people out. Um, I'm also feeling like charging up your crystals under the full moon, to just mentioning that as well. Um, if you don't own crystals, I sell some. I can help you get a collection started. My breathing is starting to feel a little shallow as well. So this could be some fluid in the body as well. So inflammation, so eating to help reduce inflammation will be quite helpful this month. Interesting. All right, we have the upside down bear. So we're not recognizing that some of the qualities that we're showcasing is very, um, they're very strong, but also it could be that you have this outer shell thing happening where you're not letting as many people in. So I'm encouraging you to let nice people come through. Let nice people in your door, that sort of thing, instead of saying, I'm not inviting anybody over. It's opening up your home to new people, new clients, if you have a business that sort of thing and just welcome them in. I just feel like there's going to be um, like December is going to be a really good month if you're letting new people in. If you are getting sidetracked this month as well, um, I just feel like going out for lunch with a friend, um, going out for supper, maybe hosting some people over, that sort of thing. I just keep getting having people coming into your home would be helpful. Okay. Um, also, for some reason, Christmas cards are coming up, getting those out and getting them ready early. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's just, I think the more prepared you are for December, the better it's going to be. So starting to do some things in November. Um, yeah, just getting, getting very organized for the month because December is going to be a whole different energy. But um, yeah, we need other people to help us. We need other people to support us and we need other people in our life. So your friend groups might be changing as well and that's okay. 
um, getting out playing some sports or being active, that sort of thing, that's going to help you a lot. Um, doing crafts with the kids will be helpful, things like that. Um, and also just remembering good memories and creating new memories are also very important. Um, your self-esteem this month is going to be in a much better place it actually feels like because of this strength card that we have here but there is a lot of change there's a lot going on um, it feels like when it comes to diet you might be tempted to um, get into the candy or or chocolates or things like that but I really bring everything back into what you value and and I feel like other people are going to value your opinion a lot in November too so just pay close attention to just how you want to be remembered that's very interesting. So this is a different reading than I think I've ever had. So it'll be interesting to see um, how the month unfolds. And of course, if you need more support and help, I can always give you a November reading, but I have many other options as well. So don't forget to scroll through all of my stuff through robinhorseman.com. November 1st, we're starting off our month with a uh, candle ceremony. So that's underneath TikTok Live, November 1st, 7.15 p.m. You buy a candle, it's $11, and the replay is going to be underneath YouTube. We're going to be doing Reiki energy. We're going to be doing a reading and Theta healing. So just by purchasing your candle, we're going to focus on you, and it'll be awesome. Then on November 10th, I have an Akashic Records Level 2 class. That's a pay it forward, so it's free. You just need to make a donation. I'd love to have you. We're going to learn about readings and past life. So we're going to be pulling up cards and teaching you how to pull up your own cards as well. All right, I think that covers it. If you want uh, the replay from uh, our Akashic Records Level 1 class, same thing, just make a donation, I'll send that over to you. But you do not need one in order to go into two. All right, folks, take care and bye for now.